Okay, we talk about TV again. I'm also not like no comment. No share money as well. Then you get it. Now you queens and bros. Eh, don't know money, mama. Only NDC for. I'm not even manifesto about the two la. I actually need more money for. So I'm going to be dear man. So I so what I say. Of course, I don't feel the NDC will come and say you get. Now, what they need is to be two guys. Now, they say to be a car. Eh, it's me catch a gun. I force them. Eh, MPP and Mamuwe. Eh, the biggest political scam since 1957. Hey, don't know man. Muhammad Kasi has been manifesto as you. Now, when a this particular post, no. Which is before I, I got my phone. I'm very proud of the money, Mahama. Any answer we could talk about. You go in good team now. Then send me to your DVR. I'm for comment on the reply. No, no, so. Let me talk so. Now if you could do a phone call, my phone send me your cover here. Eh, doctor, my mobile with me. Any any message that is in manifesto, no, so. Let me talk to you. I'm for come, come, come. Any answer we could talk about. I'm for going in good team. I'm for in the lead with all of you. We are in the car with Trump. You go in good team. This MPP administration has been the biggest political scam that has been pulled on Ghanaian since our independence in 1957. Hey. Cool. And I'll explain why. They were repackaged with ribbons and sweetly scented with enticing promises. Most Ghanaians will agree that Nana Kufuado is indeed the president Ghana never got. And indeed, I dare say, his much touted economic whiskey, Vice President Dr. Ba Mahmoud Baumia, is also the economic messiah Ghana never got. The MPP government took over from our administration on 7 January 2017, they inherited an energy sector we had stabilized with the fastest mobilization of emergency power of almost 800 megawatts in the history of Ghana. Along with this came a new energy sector levy act, which we call ESLA, with potential revenues of 3 billion Ghana cities every year to pay off legacy energy sector debts. They inherited an ongoing Millennium Challenge Compact of $547 million aimed at making Ghana's energy sector the most efficient in Africa. This family, ruling family, quarreled over the shares in the PDS, com PDS company and led to the U.S. pulling back $190 million, which was meant for the most critical component of the compact, and that is private sector participation and improvement in collections at the distribution end of the electricity value chain. They inherited more than $450 million of the IMF extended credit facility initiated by my administration. Most of our state-owned enterprises were breaking even or making a profit. We handed that to them. They inherited a cocoa production of more than 960,000 metric tons of cocoa, with a cocoa board that was making profit and owed only 1.5 billion CDs to the central bank in cocoa bills. We handed over to them two new oil producing wells, the Ten Fields and the ENI Sankofa, which increased Ghana's oil production by more than 100,000 barrels per day with additional gas of more than 200 million standard cubic feet per day. And this increased Ghana's oil revenues, uh, uh, revenues from petroleum by more than half a billion dollars every year. <clears throat> they took over from our administration a stabilization fund in which we had accrued $277 million. A Ghana infrastructure investment fund received money of $270 million a sinking fund account at the Bank of Ghana with a balance of over $200 million. They inherited a budget that ran a deficit of 6.1%, with zero borrowing from the central bank, the Bank of Ghana, zero borrowing. Hey! Boy! Some of the war, Brubiswanias and Kotoba, Gona Kutier, we say, 
simply an uninspiring manifesto. Oh, feeling empty. Okay, what can those money monies impacted if without using them to better life? Mm -hmm. Okay, as calm as when you pretend to care about the country, buy an airplane for the military and then circumvent the process to personally gain five million dollars from the transaction. Certified GO what government official what that's the definition of real scam. You know, man, Mahama, Ghana, who on a catch of a short memory, or on a bachelor, I see, you know, so I see, you can't say scam, and what be to the matcher, you know, so so I could do a play a mass with your bona be a buy, one coin, I should be a big move of five million dollars, and yes, I'm going to watch a man on your friend, yes, scam, scam, no, no, who is it? Was it how? Is Mahama able to have all these figures of head? Ah, well, and you're of head, or head, and you why? Yeah, ma, say, nobody is corrupt more than you. Mm. Nobody is corrupt more than you. It is awful to so be a corrupt, a Ghana for say, who be a non more corrupt and bro, who don't know my Mahama so. So, no, I'll go for a bar, I'll be a reply. I'll go for your Kohanum see ya. Yep. Could you upon Koma? Ah, we current a year a housing minister now. Or the doctor will move on me and manifest on the buy now. Or Chile say, say, a cassette messenger. The only message not so bad messenger no say. When you're credible, a message means me near you. And as a message, no so any credible. So what you say? Or then some come a come up there to be any answer go to a man for you could put you could do upon Koma. No, the church and doctor will move on me and manifest. And for the ruling NPP, the message or the messenger? Both. The message without a credible messenger may be difficult to consume. And the best of messengers without a sensible, well thought through, feasible message would struggle to convince. So the two matter. In our case, we are uh, pleased that the message, which is the set of solutions that we are putting before the people of Ghana in all humility, is a message that, when you examine, answers many of the questions or the issues that people have on top of their minds. You may not be a member of the MPP. You may not even like Dr. Baumia. But when you listen to the solutions he's proposing to some of the problems, you have to ask yourself, do these solutions make sense? Do they work? Would I benefit from them, even if I'm in the NDC or CPP or something? That's number one. Now, also the messenger. We have a messenger who has been vice president of the republic and in that capacity as vice president of the republic and chairman of the economic management team he has provided several propositions on how to tackle some of the issues ahead of us some of them accepted and implemented we see the results of course some of them not accepted he's not the president he can't you know have the final say at the end of the day and especially when you compare him to our main opponent in this election, who has also served as vice president before. And you put the two of them on the same scale and ask yourself, so when he was vice president, and here I'm talking about former President Mahama. So when he was vice president, what are the specific policy interventions that you can say that he led or he introduced or he encouraged the government to pursue? And I say in all humility that the most energetic of NDC supporters will struggle to point that out to you. In fact, yesterday I saw a video in which a spokesperson at the time, my own friend George Napo, explained his role as vice president. That the president said that he was going to handle the core issues and asked, you know, Mr. Mahama as vice president at the time to handle the social events and then to deal with the media. These are not my words. These are the words of his spokesperson at the time. So the messenger is important because now we have a classic opportunity to compare two people who have both served in the same office. These are the two messengers. And to ask ourselves, what is the track record of this messenger as vice president? Over 30 policy prescriptions which are serving as well. What is the track record of this other messenger as vice president who will struggle to point out any? So the two come together to give us confidence that as we sell our message some more for people to sit back and examine and take a decision, we are solemnly confident that December 7th will be a good day for us. Around for December seventh to be what a good day for us because we compared two messages now. Bako and the new said what Bako get. Around for your bahas is red and cool. Eh, 
e yi ni yem e bo ye ase mo ja amaso omo na ye se omo ye frefre so ati ase ye fo to te mo bo na sana adwu no ofa bi a sector sports and den 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 ya na ya fa ni pa kwa o ya ade o ni wa what the person who has been involved in that particular area no our experience ah o ma adwu mo to wo ho no ni e kupi o mo ni so mo fa police e be bo man ni mra se ko e ya health sa e no de draw the manifesto so you could see say there eh yeah, could you upon come here can difference no eh eh clear e be no tell manifesto na ultimate say difference eh eh clear ma people could tell dan ko ko and say ma no to ya bra eh ya say mo ja copy me wo ye eh peace of mind issues kwa good na na so be ko eh baby just on the bbi ya kama e ma no then na na come say lunch ni there me ma bo na ba so dada mhm but me me there no ye eh manifesto launch na mppn unso na no ye um, sports uh, manifesto chairman committee chairman oh i see yes and for me as a uh, sports broadcaster eh uh, omo cover every blade mhm mami wa boy juma wa che se or your legend in fact say nya politics a nanka e drew search nyo ma na nka expect ni edi she omo yeah <coughs> indeed he's done justice to that Mhm. Uh -huh. uh, me baby am any gear cry operation Olympic Games glory. Mhm. Uh -huh. Ah, a share MPP on sports manifesto as a moja and chain committee. No. Kwame who said since 2004, Barreto dear called Athens. Qualification ground wire the army 20 solid years. Yeah, could be that. Yes, football to me qualify. The other sports, it's always been oh, ah, yeah, Koba, na be ya da pecha, ni a question scarsa. And he, for a footballer to think, he say, "Oh, there is the need to restore the Olympic glory." No, I mean, a big deal. It means that the next Olympics, no, you be investing well, I prepare well. Me who me team, me who you manage. I mean, the other area I mentioned here, manage here, a school sports. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I Inter heard something like good. I heard something like sports, uh, school sports secretariat in collaboration with GS. Okay. Which say, uh, yeah, to me, yeah, I mean, a be restore school sports. Because everybody has been crying for it. Now, so no, as a major, no, no, a school sports for exactly. a exactly. Start, yeah. yeah. Of course, they didn't leave out coast football. Oh, yeah. They just oh, she da ko trown or here in the life. Pa. <laughs> oh, no, in the life, yeah. Pa. Me, I think that going forward, the politicians should should put politics aside. No more technocrats. Emwa omo when it comes to areas are omo ni nimbi. Yeah. But this is a clear manifestation. Say, eba ni pa ni area now the man obey ni ye. Kwame, he touched on the surfaces of our pitches, which for me is an issue. Everybody will be a, and there is the need for us to improve the surfaces of our pitches. Maybe we are football, we can move better, better pitches. Yeah. But of course, Obafia, as a patriotic Ghanaian, and you could have a boy, we do at him. Kwame, he touched on that. And honestly, you did not tell papa, 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 papa. You did not tell papa, papa, papa. I'm a still a <laughs> yeah. the, the project was the MVP manifesto. The MVP manifesto was the first sports one as a major and chain. The Kasafa investment in the local league. Hmm. It's one area as a sports presenter. I'm going to watch it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the league is a big deal. At the initial stages, there was government involvement. Before EPL, Ebe EPL, Omori Christian Obey EPL yeah. in 1991. The English government gave the English FA 200 million pounds to see. invest in the EPL at the commencement. Indeed, the desire to invest in the league in Kwame, another perfect model. manifesto. Then finally, setting up a sports fund. In Kwame, when you can sports fund that, where would the source come from? And they stated thing. them clearly. Say, uh, lottery betting and these are sources are uh, even in the western world and on run home sports into coming from infrastructure through grass surfaces to coast football through everything related to sports olympic glory come they touched on it into me who you must say yes as a modern has proven say he's a true sportsman baby jet <laughs> Baby jet mo. Kwame, it should be an example <laughs> to the rest of the political parties now. Ebia will be expert in your confidence or maya dia. Now the other party didn't attempt when they're normal. Because he born in this 
ayi ayi e fani se manifesto chama no amanfo di di na tem meti se politician bi kura se eh ninti na 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 aban we ni so akobo penalty se na me how would you think like this or no player na obobo agi ni glory no odwin o party hu ti akobo penalty ase na obi tumi tena se manufacture ase but yes e chi obe patch Oh, but come in the first place. Why would you even think like this? Nipa na o se penalty no. Ah na o claim o se na buying is something o se part penalty no. Onu ne she wangu wangu adi uko duro be bia uduro. Zadan na buying is. Ah na I just say no one point one one be. Adi bua e e logical. You come in e e e e e e good example to the politician say say e ni obi a e media work. Ne e free se come in se far kind na o e expect na NDC for ni ana we should be able to tap from your experience. Say e ni obi a e Work be like this. You have some more than expertise. You should be able to tap his expertise. Now you're thinking about nation building, Kaka. So that's the point. You should think about building the nation. I don't know. Doctor, my member, me, I hear you know. Or no, I go. It will be MPP and no be NDC. Me there be a person of mine. No, no, I don't build your mind into a phobia. Now you move to the community. No, no, Baba, yeah. We need friendly leadership. And yeah, I don't follow a big job at two to two. I am playing. Mafia TV and I comment or comments on my camera, my crap. 